Hey guys, take a deep breath, RC, with an unboxing of the Sonic Model AR Wing Classic. This is uh, good news. The Sonic Model model, however you pronounce it, recently came out with a new version of the AR Wing, which has a lot more uh, cargo bay storage uh, area, so you can put bigger batteries and bigger FPV equipment. I really like the original version until I smash it up into the ground, but that's another story. So I was really happy to find out they're actually still making it. Now they call it the AR Wing Classic. So I actually just purchased um, the, not the, uh, doesn't have any servos or motor or anything because I had all that from my previous one that I smashed into the ground. So I actually got this for 58 or $59 without the electronics, which is great because I already have the electronics. I'm just slapping back in and I'll be ready to go. I, I was also reading that they've made a couple upgrades to this, re did a couple reinforcements. So let's open the box and see what the, uh, what it looks like. Oops, shaking the camera, sorry. Alrighty, so let's see if you guys can see this. So we got some uh, pretty simple instructions here. This is a pretty basic plane to put together. So I guess you don't really need a whole lot of instructions here. So, but very cool. And these red stickers are new. Didn't have those on the last one. They're calling these wing edge protectors. I think you just put these red strips on the uh, the front of the wing, the, the wing tip. Uh, give a little bit more protection. So that's a nice touch. I don't remember these red Sonic uh, model stickers either. And now we got, of course, the classic, classic stickers, which didn't exist before because this is now called the the classic. So... Anyways, the, qual the stickers look like they're actually of decent quality, too. Which sometimes, some of these uh, planes, especially that you get over on Banggood, they can have some uh, cheapy stickers. One of those, like, paper-thin stickers. These don't look uh, look too bad, actually. They're, they're a good, good thick sheet, actually. So, um, that's encouraging. A little bit of advertisement for some of their other planes. I've got the... Which one do I have? I have... This little one. Where's the little one? Oh, that is the little one. I have this one too, which is uh, under 250 gram. Uh, great little plane. Hard to see though because it's so small. I might have an upcoming video on that one as well. So they got some other advertisements. They got some nice planes actually. So uh, and this is some of these are Zod. Well, that's actually Zod. I'm sorry. This is, these are actually Zod planes, and this is a Sonic model. Here's some of the Sonic model planes. They got some nice advertising in here. So. Yep. Cool. We got some more stickers. Can't see these because they're white. So they're white stickers on a white background, but of course the white's gonna pop because this foam is black. So so that'll look good. But these stickers seem better quality um, than the original one I had actually. This is a nice both of these sheets are nice. And thick so that, that's nice here's the skid plate I'm already familiar with this plane so this is the skid plate that you put on the bottom you can also use this to, to grip it when you launch it although I like to launch launch it with a sidearm uh, I don't like launching when you got the motor in the back and it passing right over your hand it's a good way to chew up your hand so I'll usually side launch it so anyways this goes on the bottom of the fuselage uh, both as to protect it when it lands and also as a grip for when you toss it. So, got a bag of goodies, some more stickers, some hardware. Good, good, good. Yep. About the same same quality as before. So 
this is uh this is the center of the fuselage and this is the cover obviously Here's the bottom of the fuselage. Like I was talking about, this just goes, you glue this on top. It gives it, a, it's actually a nice thick plastic. That actually gives it some nice protection. So, and this is uh, another one of the nice things that they do with this model is they give you, it's set up for to put a camera right in the nose and they give you three different fronts depending on what camera you're using, which is super cool. I usually use the run cam, but this is set up, I think this is for like a GoPro, and I forget what the other one is, but they got three different ones. This just attaches on the front, and just pick which one fits your camera best. So it's also really nice. And that, that was how the original model was as well. And these, now these are interesting. This is the one part of this plane I never liked. These go on the the edges of the of the the wings, and they're just made out of foam. The original one came with wood and foam. The problem is, let me get out one of the wing panels and I'll show you. Because this is another thing you should maybe take in consideration. You might want to print up a couple of these that, like I did. So here's here's one of the one of the wings, the right wing, with the aileron. It's got a foam hinge. So normally these are gonna just glue on to the to the edge here, right? Problem is half of it. When, every time you land, this bottom half just just bangs into the ground. There's really no way around it. It, it it's lower than any other part of the plane, basically. So keeping these things on. Is, is a real nightmare. They, they bust really easy. The one part of this plane I never liked. So what I've done, and I did this on my first plane before I smashed it. Where is that? So I 3D printed. This is on uh, Thingiverse. You can get, get this. So you can print this one piece, and it only goes up on the top. And I'm not going to put it all the way on, but basically you just slide it on and glue it. And it, it does fit kind of tight, so I'm not even going to do it because I'm not ready for that. But... You know, then you don't have the bottom piece sticking out. And it flies super nice with these, super stable. It's a good good surface area. So you, you might want to consider putting these up for yourself. They're available on Thingiverse. Just type uh, AR wing winglets, I believe I typed, and you'll find you'll find the uh, the G the you know the uh, STL file for it. So so that's what I'm gonna put on this, just like I did my last one. So Got the other wing half here. Bada boom, bada bang. Another nice feature of this plane. I think the, the original one had this as well, but it's got the CG marks on the wings already, which is great because usually you got to measure it and mark it. It's already there for you. Just a little CG and you got the little bump. Easy breezy. So I like that. And we got some carbon rods, which is great. Great for reinforcement of the wing. Love that. And we got some other wooden bits, which I'm assuming are for camera mounts and whatnot. I'll have to look into that. I don't remember the original cam coming with all this, though, actually. So this is kind of cool. We'll have to find out what it is. So, so there you have it.